bar, various nightclubs, and all sorts of other down home, funky, low down, nasty, whatever you call it, places. Is it part of the poly or funkamandelic thing? Brother James Wesley Jackson! Hey, in behalf of all the people that made this possible, we'd like to thank y'all for making us realize that money isn't everything. I am from, you know, right here amongst you. I used to be on Woodlawn. Dig it, I saw a brother with two bricks in his hand. I said, where you going, baby? He said, shopping. <laughs> so you know as well as I do that things are changing. See, I'm from Greenwood, and I came up north. I'm from Mr. I was on Mr. Radoff's place. He used to live down south in Greenwood. Radoff, he'd be right off his horse on your ass. <laughs> Just really like that, you know? And some of the brothers here done changed. I saw a brother on the campus. I said, hey, baby, I'm from down south. I'm so glad to see you. Ain't had nobody to rap to. How you feeling? He said, fine, thank you. How are you? <laughs> the dude had changed, you know. <laughs> he had changed, you know. See, we get into what is known as pretentiously funk. We'd be pretentiously funky. Brother way across, black power. Another brother be with somebody he don't want to know, so he just. <laughs> That's what be going on sometimes, you know. But we want everybody to just be able to get into the room. Do you know that this is the first time? Lord Hammers, this is the first time in the history of Mantle Hall that this moment has ever appeared. And most of us spin it saying right on. Ain't that true? <laughs> I'm just trying to call your attention to you can't see your ears. I don't care how high you is. Hey, you can't see your ears. I see the dude trying to jerk his head back. <laughs> you can't see your ears. So therefore, there is a part of you that you can't see and other people be looking at all the time. So what I'm talking about is a Funkadelia kind of thing is just being yourself. Because you can't help but to be cool if you be yourself. You've got to be, it just happens. You don't be pretentiously funky. Like, how many of y'all feel very awkward when the commode stop flushing before you finish peeing? <laughs> be trying to make noise. <clears throat> You know you do it. A lot of us will get ready to come out the bathroom, look up and see somebody we know, and start washing our hands. <laughs> Wasn't gonna bid more wash your hands. Check it. See, pretentiously funky people be in their post-white pre-Negro period. That's, that's when you go to the bathroom, you don't pee right in the water, you pee on the side. Because you don't want folks to know that that's what you're in there doing. Don't be ashamed of your body. Some folks go in and they turn on the showers, turn on the face bowl, flush the commode, and then pee on the side. Check it, they, they be cool though when they come out, because they know they're nobody here. And they come out. <laughs> And there's a brother sitting over in the corner getting ready to go into his favorite nod. And just before he does, he said, hey, baby, you piss like a horse. <laughs> so just be yourself, you know? Hey, be yourself. Don't let no television take over your mind. Hey, right now in this room, to a lot of folks, it ain't been funny. You know why? Cause the dude they with ain't laugh cause he had to pay that money. Yeah, that money, nigga, that's how come I wear these overalls. This is known as the original jumpsuit. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And it's what a lot of y'all gonna be wearing if them ADC checks get in the shoulder. <laughs> Times are hard. Nigga, 
Do you know I saw a worm pull a bird into the ground? <laughs> you know, you know it's hard. They get, hey, don't have to tell nobody. And they come up with a movie called Willard, and I've been having them in my basement all my life. <laughs> Hey, y'all ought to stop. See, I've been showed out. Then my grandmother, my grandmother, she said, get down off that stage, boy. You're just showing out, see? Hey, in the South, she used to tell me, James Wesley, put down that wheelbarrow. You know you doesn't know anything about machinery. And we had, they, it, it's a shame, because we, we could have got away with everything there. We had a little place out in the back of our house called the Unflushables. <laughs> remember? <laughs> you act like you don't remember. <laughs> you know you remember. Some of you learned how to read my Sears Roebuck catalog. <laughs> Tear off one of them pages, you know, and just read it. When you finished reading it, you'd ball it up. <laughs> then you would open it up again. And then you balled up some more, see? Because you had to soften it. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Scratch your ass. Go on, huh? Listen. <laughs> Go on, Remember when you run out them sales for buck catalogs? We used to send to Chicago and get them, you know, those telephone directories. Check it. Same size page, but much softer. <laughs> much softer. Dig it. You know I've been through some of the best names in Chicago. <laughs> Wiped them right out. Dig it. <laughs> hey, dig it. I'm gonna have to go because I got another show in August. <laughs> it's so hip to come home and receive Remember something like this. <laughs> the dude talking about, you say, Grandpa, hey, I hear you, and Sly ain't here to be stoned. <laughs> yeah. Man, they get, hey, man, this is just like coming off the corner, you know, you know, right over there. Let me show you some slides and some things that are going on in your minds. Ain't much happening, is it? <laughs> hey, from this corner over here, though, y'all sure is high. <laughs> <Dig it? laughs> mm. Hey, that's the dude asking me if I want some. Not knowing that he could be talking about the sister he with. Now see, hey, we're not, wait a minute, no, this ain't gonna go no further. This ain't gonna go no further. This is how folks get in the fights. You know when you're kids? It's that third dude that gets you beat up. <laughs> Check it, somebody say, hey, your mama. Another cat say, ooh. <laughs> it's always that dude to get you beat up, you know? Let me, let me finish these slides, because I... That's a slide of the funniest thing that y'all have seen in High Park. A black fellow with a black girl. That's some of the brothers out there say, hey, baby, won't you cool it? Be cool, man, wise up, you know, they get you forgot about Old Town. <laughs> well, that's me really enjoying that joke on the record by myself. <laughs> Lord, hey, that's the brother just hollered out, moving into a Polish neighborhood. <laughs> Dig it, but that's the property value going up. <laughs> that's really funky. 
You didn't know Poland could be funky too, did you? I bet you any amount of money that was a Polish that said that. That's bullshit. Take it. That's the dumb kid throwing Molotov cocktails at him. There you see him picking them up, lighting them, and throwing them back. That's how you tell when Mayor Daly is lying. His lips move. That's President Nixon getting Shanghai in Shanghai. <laughs> Woo. There you see a slide of them carrying him off and he's shouting China obscenities. <laughs> like, it's the biggest laundry in the world. <laughs> there I am telling Nixon to pull out like his father should have. over here talking about I'm signifying. And what you doing? And you getting an ABC check. I couldn't be signifying, hey, we poor man, and I like to see him with sea sickness and lockjaw at the same time. <laughs> I ain't, that ain't signifying, that's direct. <laughs> that's the slide of my son when he was born. He weighed 25 pounds. There he is when he's a day old, he weighed 15 pounds. We had to have him circumcised. <laughs> hey, I didn't know that's, that's where y'all wanted to be coming from. See, y'all as funky as you want to be, ain't you? Dig it? That's really here. Just, Really like that, you know? And this is Chicago, here at Mandel Hall. Laugh, sister. Dig it. Dig it. Just. <laughs> yeah. We, you, you better laugh. You better laugh. Or you hit the fart. You'll fart. You got to laugh the fart. Check it. You blow your end. So go on and laugh. And grin. <laughs> yeah. That's right, you know? I've been brought up in a society where they teach us that girls do not fart. <laughs> they poop. <laughs> Ain't nothing happening. <laughs> they could, hey, listen, girls be farting out of this world. They, so ain't no need to make it no difference, you know. Hey. But check it, we all cool, you know, some of us so cool, it hurt us sometimes. Check it. Sometimes you see the brother, he be walking, he be just as straight. Hey, you, you cannot throw a J that high. <laughs> Marijuana would be no problem if Congress would have a joint session. What if they found out that Reefers got rid of cancer? And everybody be sitting at home getting well. Try it. You like it. <laughs> I can't believe I smoked that whole chair. Uh, uh, having a merry, merry time. They, get, they broke in my house. I had to pull the jab down the commode had some stumbling reefer. <laughs> Pulled it down there, man, and flushed the commode, and it was just smiling. It flaps up at your booty, you know. You, you can get off on that, you know, if you really. Hey, um, while we're sitting here, are you aware that you're holding your bodies the way you feel? Check it. Do you know that a naked body is just nature's way of saying hi? So y'all are to speak to one another. Check it, you holding your bodies the way you feel. Now, see, you know we always hold our mouth 
the way we think we have been cool. You ever notice how we want <laughs> Why is it that we give our nose so much attention? Yeah, that's why you be leaning sideways though, because you only got some in one nostril. They could smoke a pound a day and keep that doji away. Check it. Don't do nothing to be hurting your body. Hey, see, but we so cool, but check it, we sitting here now. Why are we sitting here? Cool as you can be. Okay. <laughs> What if, what if unbeknownst to us, there was a booger hanging from your nose? <laughs> Why are you rubbing your nose? <laughs> dig it, dig it. Isn't it something? Why would you let a booger control you? <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with being embarrassed. I mean, you dig it, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's when you pretend you're not embarrassed. Somebody say, hey, baby, you got a booger hanging out your nose. And you're so cool, you sit there and say, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they, yeah. Yeah, I'm, hey. But, you know, I had my fish like this when I came into the world. Hey, I'm serious, but let me tell you, let me give you some background on it, though. Check it. My mother had taken the pill. And I wasn't letting that pill keep me from coming here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here rapping. Dig it, I grabbed that pill, and I said, no, good. <laughs> and I came on, man. Hey, I know she didn't want me when she put a live teddy bear in the crib with me. Hey, it was rough, man. So you have to come up and develop a like for yourself. I had to start liking myself, and I didn't fall. Dig it, I'm so, I love myself so much. I got a daughter now, and her name is Kai E. And she is, like her name means love, peace, and happiness. I told my woman to give me five, and she laid Kai E on me. <laughs> now that's, dig it, everybody in here should be able to give your body. You give your body five every now and then with your favorite given five person. <laughs> you can't be mad when you're giving your body five, you know that? Do you know that one out of every four people in here masturbates? <laughs> Check it, one out of four. One out of four, you can hear one. <laughs> one out of four, now you think of three of your friends. And if they don't mess around, it must be you. <laughs> but it ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You think this ain't nothing wrong with it. Always the cats that try to convince you that he don't. No, I don't do that. <laughs> hey, but just don't change. That's, that's what it is. Dig it, don't change. One brother was bragging. You know, we get together and we start lying about our success. Because everybody thinks that you're making great progress here in Chicago and they be giving you them little old chump chase jobs, boy. One brother says, I am over 5,000 white folks. I say, yeah, I know what you do. Well, I mow the lawn in the cemetery. <laughs> hey, you can change everything that's going on. You know, I hope y'all don't let TV take over your minds. Learn to think for yourself. This has been brought to you by <laughs> the Black Thought Corporation. If there are any opposing views, you can kiss my ass. <laughs> hey, I was on television. I was on Breakthrough. It was a TV show, and they told me that I could not hold a cigarette like this. I had to hold it between both of my fingers. You know? And I said, why don't you have more black people on TV? They said, we got you on TV. I said, I know it, but I get tired of watching basketball games. <laughs> you know? They always, they won't get us, they'll get a foreigner. I heard one of them say, I understand the Negroes are sweeping the country. Yeah, baby, it's one of the few jobs we can get. 
that's really something. You know, Governor Wallace has been named Mother of the Year. <laughs> Any way you look at it, they use his voice in a commercial and went something like this. I'm a Southern peanut. Toasted to a gold and tan. I even go down with the mic. <laughs> Dipped and drenched in creamy milk chocolate. Coated with a thin candy shell. And I still don't like Negroes. Did you know that people who like people like Negroes, don't you wish everybody did? Is y'all suffering from racial tension? Then try Oregon, spelled O-R-G-E-N. Oregon spelled backwards is Negro. Oregon takes the fear out of living close. So Wallace, go Oregon yourself. It's, you know, it's a little humor there. <laughs> Get in touch with your own body aroma. We use so much deodorant on our arms, we done forgot our natural funk. That's how come I use a 23-hour deodorant. Because I likes to have a little time for myself. <laughs> See, we got the white boys working for us. Hey, it's a change, you know, and you got to get in with it. You got to take it in stride. Check it. Dig it. I got space. You got space. Everybody's got space. When we get together, sharing our space in order to help each other, in order to help your brother. Yeah, Nixon is my shepherd, and I shall not work. <laughs> he maketh me lie down in front of buses. Yeah. He leadeth me to the white universities. He restoreth my welfare check. Yea, though he anointeth my head with anti-kinky hair straight, my Cadillac runneth over. Yeah, surely the Supreme Court shall follow me all the days of my strife. And I got to dwell in these damn federal housing projects. Richard Nixon ain't my man, but Jesse, Jesse is. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse is. Jesse Jackson, push to it, yeah, hey. Your bodies are now leaving your mind. 